<laughs> Stockholm Vice Mayor Daniel Heldon admits bluntly that the equality snow removal has not worked. Walkways and bike paths have not been cleared to the extent that it was supposed to be priority order, said Daniel Heldon. In the hospitals, the continued pressure on the orthopedic departments after the snowfall, during the normal week in November, orthopedic emergency room at Danyard Hospital gets around 30 patients a day. On November 9th, 108 people sought treatment at the orthopedist. Also on St. George's Hospital, has been taking care of large amounts of slip-related accidents. On Wednesday, they received 83 cases and 93 cases on Thursday. Also, on Friday, continued to come in many injured people. I regret very much to the people who have been injured. The idea is that it's easier to get around walking in this type of snowfall. It is not good that we have not succeeded. We have allocated more money in the budget. We should take in the next week, said Daniel Heldon. He cannot, however, spell out the problems for the past few days clearing snow. I.e., they don't know why it didn't work, but they're going to throw money at it. I have requested an emergency report to find out what has happened to these days. Has it failed somewhere? And we'll correct it. With this report, we hope to be able to do better next time. Where's the responsibility? For the final analysis, the responsibility for snow removal is on me. It's my duty to ensure the office does what we say in our directives. It's my responsibility to ensure that this dissolves. God, Google translates a lot of fun. Are you self-critical? Yes, I guess I can say. Thank you for at least taking what little responsibility and actual consequences for that responsibility that you'll have. Poor Bjorn Paulson here has gone full retard. No, this is not an example of feminism. This is an example of something being labeled feminist. The term feminist snowplowing was something cooked up by the media. Even though gender equitable snowplowing was exactly what the mayor of Stockholm wanted to do. But do go on, my, my precious, precious Swedish white knight, who describes himself as a programmer, feminist, and progressive geek. And who, while having answered only a little bit under 200 questions, has over 2,500 edits on Quora. Holy shit, dude. And that's it for me, ladies and gents. Just a little video pointing out the ultimate error in choosing to run a society or make major sociological decisions based on a feeling. It's, it's usually a poor choice. I, I choose pragmatism over that anytime. I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving, and I'll catch up with everyone next week. So as usual, stay safe, good luck, and goodbye.